Many people like to think of division as doing multiplication backwards. For example, here's a statement of multiplication. 7 times 3 equals 21. But let's now imagine doing that backwards. Let's start with the answer, 21. What got multiplied by 3 to give the answer 21? There's a division problem thought of as doing multiplication backwards. And of course, 7 got multiplied by 3 to give the answer 21. OK, so let's start thinking of division as multiplication backwards. But let's do a more complicated example now. Uh, let's do 1,302 times 3 this time. OK, I, I know the answer is going to be what? Uh, 3906. 3,906. But let me draw a picture of this to see what's really going on. So let's start with the number 1,302. I'll draw a little place value diagram for it. So it's going to be 1,000. It's going to be 300s, 300s. Uh, no tens and two, two ones. There it is. There's 1,302, and I'm being asked to triple it. All right, I'm going to literally triple everything I see in that picture. One dot there will be tripled and become three dots. Okay, that dot there will be tripled and become three dots. This dot will also triple become three. This dot will also become three. I'm going to triple this dot here and make it a group of three, and I'll triple this dot here and make it three. There it is. Everything got tripled. I'm done. In fact, now I really do see the answer, 3906. Beautiful. There's the answer, 3906, to the multiplication problem. All right, but let's now pretend we didn't see that. Pretend you didn't, just write this from your memory. All right, let's start with the answer and see if we can go backwards. 3906 divided by 3 equals. So there's a division problem, but it's really a multiplication problem in disguise. What got multiplied by 3 to give this answer here? What got tripled to give this answer? All right, so if all I see is this, I'm ask, asking myself, hmm, what got tripled? And I look at it and say, OK, well, a dot here clearly got tripled. One dot there got tripled and made three. I can see a dot there got tripled and made three. A dot here got tripled to make three. A dot there also got tripled to make three. Nothing got tripled there to make three there, but certainly a dot there was tripled to make three, and a dot there was tripled to make three. Oh, I can see that one dot at the thousands level, and three dots at the hundreds level, and no dots there at the tens level, but two dots at the units level were tripled to make three. It must have been that 1,302 was tripled to make 3,906. And there it is. In fact, there it is. <laughs> this is fabulous. We are now doing division with just dots and boxes. This is great. So let's do another example. Clean my board. Let's do something. I'll keep, I'll keep it straightforward for now. Let's do something like 426 divided by 2. 426 divided by 2. OK, I think I know what the answer is going to be. Divided by 2. I think it's going to be 213. But let's see it. We're asking what got doubled to give this answer. So let's draw that answer. Here goes. 426 is 400. And 20 and 6. Two tens and six ones. I'm looking at things that got doubled. So the things that got doubled look like two dots. OK, when I look at that, I say, oh, there's a dot that got doubled. There's a dot that got doubled. A dot here at this level got doubled. A dot here at this level got doubled. Also got doubled and also got doubled. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. I see that two dots at the hundreds level and one dot at the tens level and three dots at the ones level got doubled to give the answer 426. This is gorgeous. Oh, there could be one little snag no, though. Let's try this one. Let's try 416 divided by 4. I think it's probably a good one. Let's try it. 416 divided by 4. Um, I think I can just tell the answer is going to be 104, but let's see if we can see that. Here's the answer, 416. 416 looks like this. 416 is 4, 2, 3, 4, 1, 10, and 6 ones. And we're looking for dots that got quadruples. We're looking at little patterns of 4, dots that got quadrupled. Well, right away, there's a dot that got quadrupled, that's for sure. It's got one there at that level. OK, there's a dot that got quadrupled. And I can see a dot over here also got quadrupled. And then I'm getting a bit panicky because I don't see any more dots that got quadrupled. Hmm, OK. Though, though, I think I want more dots over here, get more groups of four. Let me unexplode this dot here. Ha ha ha, that's going to be great because it gives me more dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I've got lots more groups of four to play with. There's another dot that got quadrupled. There's another dot that got quadrupled. There's another dot that got quadrupled. Yes, 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 I was right. We had one dot at the hundreds place, no dots at the tens place, four dots at the ones place got quadrupled to give the answer 416. This is just marvellous. 
So let me do one more example. Let's do a let's do one that's going to involve lots of unexplosions. That should be fun. Let's try 100 divided by 4. Okay, no, the answer should be 25, but I want to see it. I want to see it with the pictures. 100 divided by 4. So here's what 100 looks like. So it looks a bit sparse. There's only going to be a single dot in the hundreds place. And I'm looking for things that got quadrupled. I'm looking for dots that got quadrupled. It will look like that, a little cluster of four. Okay, no groups of four right now. Uh, but to get to see some groups of four, let's unexplode that dot and make it ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great, because now I see a group of four, and now I see a group of four. Yes, I see two at that level. Some extra dots. Let's get some more dots over here. Let's see more groups of four. Let's unexplode and unexplode. All right, two unexplodes makes 20 dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And I suggestively group them as fours already because now I see there's a group dot there that got quadrupled. A dot there got quadrupled, a dot there was quadrupled, a dot there was quadrupled, a dot there was quadrupled. Five dots there at the once place was quadrupled. Yes, the answer is indeed 25. 25 quadrupled is 100, and I can literally see it.